I know for me as a kid growing up in the Baptist church, we were always taught, you know, you accept Christ into your life. And then when you stand before him on the day of judgment, if he knows your name and it's written in the book of life, then you will enter into heaven. So you talk about the books that are not in the Protestant Bible. I mean, that's one of those moments where I think that's where a big question for a lot of people is where where does it fall in the midst of that when you're taught that you just have to, you know, accept him and then you get to stand before him and he reads your name and goes, I knew you. And then you come into heaven. Yeah, see, that's why we use both Old Testament and New Testament verses uh, to, to show the teaching on purgatory. I use some of these because I want to make the connection between the Old Testament and the New Testament uh, where the church gets the fullness of its teaching on this issue and where the church fathers also pulled from yeah. both these Old Testament and New Testament sources. So, for example, a New Testament source would be like Matthew 5, 25 and 26. Um, he says, uh, where Jesus says, make friends quickly with your accuser while you are going with them to court, lest your accuser hand you over to the judge and the judge to the guard and you be put in prison. Truly, I say to you, you will never get out until you have paid the last penny. Right. Mm -hmm. So we consider uh, 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 purgatory like the prison and that purification process. And when we've paid that last penny, when we've we've removed the last vestiges of attachments to the things of this world, then we'll be worthy to stand before the Lord in heaven. Now, remember, if you're in purgatory, you're going to heaven. It's not a matter of, am I going to make it? No. Right. You are going to heaven. You know how, how a little kid described it once? He said, it's like when you, before you go into the house, you have to wipe your feet on the mat before mm -hmm. you go in. Mm -hmm. right? right? I mean, you're going to go in the house. You're going in. Yeah. But you have to wipe your feet to get the, the last of that dirt off so you don't track dirt in the house. And I said, hey, that's <laughs> for, for, for a little kid, that's pretty good. Yeah. You know, but that's, that's the idea here. It's not that you're not going to go to heaven. And remember, everything we're talking about purgatory is all because of the merits of Jesus Christ on the cross. This is not an extra biblical doctrine. This is not something that the Catholic Church made up. This is, be, and we, we say this clearly, this is because of what Jesus did for us on the cross.